Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a closer look at this digital kitchen scale from Vander. This one is a really nice one. It's stainless steel, and it comes with two different measuring trays. And they, um, it's not an additional thing that you have to store somewhere. They just fit nicely over top. So the larger of the trays acts as a case to enclose it. And then you've got a smaller one that will just sit right over top of the scale. So it makes storage very easy and then you've just got this little narrow tray or this larger tray for measuring on. And because of the tear function, you can measure with these trays and get an accurate reading as well as with different bowls and containers. Okay, so it is stainless steel. It's got a backlit LCD screen, which does have an automatic um, turn off in 60 seconds. If you forget to turn it off manually, it'll just turn itself off. It's powered by two AAA batteries. Now, it says on the product page that they're not included, but on my box and with mine, they were included. So, good news. Okay. And then this has a max unit. It can weigh up to 6.6 .6 pounds. So it is kind of smaller, so you're going to be um, not wanting to exceed that limit. So it's got a, a lighter weight limit, but it's really fast and easy to use. For the most part, you can just pick this up and start using it. Some of the functions I did have to read in the little manual to see how to use, and I'll explain them and show them to you today. So you can use this as a kitchen scale or a postal scale. Um, because of the different units of measurement, you can really kind of do a lot with this. So, um, you've got those two clear bowls there. Um, this has a couple of warning functions. You've got the low battery warning, so you never have to guess if your batteries are running low or it's working a little strangely because of your batteries. It will tell you LW will come up on your screen and that'll let you know that you've got low batteries and you need to replace them. If you get the display of OLD, this means overload and it means that you've exceeded the weight limit and so in that case, if you're seeing that, you're going to want to take off whatever's on the scale right away to preserve the quality of your scale. Okay, so this measures in several different units. You have ounces, uh, grams, which those are the ones that I'm pretty much using all the time, ounces and grams. But you also have troy ounce, penny weight, grain, and carrot. So you've got all those different units there, um, which is pretty great. And then the operation is pretty simple. So let me give you a look here at the buttons here on your screen. You have your power button for turning the scale on and off. There's that nice blue backlit screen for you. The M button is to go through your different units of measurement. So you just click that and scroll through and they'll just be on the display screen. They're at the top. So you just click to go through those different units of measurement. And then you have your pieces button, PCS, and that is your counting tool. And you also have, which I'll show you that in a minute, it's pretty cool to have on this little scale. And you also have your tear button with a T right here. And that's if you're going to be measuring anything in a container. So I'll demonstrate how that works. If you're going to be using one of these measuring trays that comes with it. So when I turn on my scale, just like any kind of digital scale, you're going to want to use this on a flat surface. Um, to get an accurate weight, flat, hard surface, and then you'll turn it on and wait for it to zero out before you start using. Now let's say that I wanted to measure, I don't know, a bunch of M&Ms in here or something. So I'll put this on my scale, but I'm gonna measure them in a dish because they're ones that it's not quite so easy to measure just directly on the scale. But as you can see, um, so for my grams, this is 39 grams, but I don't want the weight of the tray to be part of my measurement. And so rather than having to weigh this and then do subtraction, you just use your tear button. So I'll just hit this T button and then that zeroes out my scale. So while this is sitting here, this is showing this is zero. And then anything that it weighs from that point it will only be weighing the weight of the object. So it's just weighing my pen when I put it in here rather than the pen plus the tray. So that's always a great option um, to have on your scale and it's simple and easy to use, just a click of a button to get that sorted out there. Next I'll show you the counting function on this scale. Okay, so to use the counting function, you'll just turn it on and you're going to prepare a sample. Um, so let's say that you are weighing M&Ms. So you're going to want a sample of either 25, 50, 75, or 100 pieces of the item that you want to count. Okay, so you'll put the items on the platform and you, in that case, you might be wanting to use one of these trays. So you put the items on the platform and then you press and hold the pieces button over here until the scale shows 
um, the different quantity of items. It'll say 25, 50, 75, or 100. And then you press the unit key to um, pick the appropriate one. So if I put on 25 pieces, I'm going to click over until I get 25. And then um, you go back to the pieces key and hit that again until the display will show PCS in the lower left hand corner and then the sampling is complete. So from that point you can uh, go ahead and weigh the items that you want to put on the platform and it will show you the quantity of the items using that sampling. So um, normally it wouldn't be able to tell you how many M&Ms you have but you've done a sampling this is what 25 weighs. Um, and then when you weigh a whole bunch, it can do a counting measurement for you. So that's a pretty cool one to have. Um, that's pretty unique too. I haven't had a kitchen scale that's done counting like that before. So I really like that function. So that's just been some of the things that this scale can do. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, it's a nice little kitchen scale. As you can see, it is small and compact. And for storing away, it's easy. You can just wipe clean and then take your two trays, you just keep it right with the scale. You don't need to store them separately. And that works as a nice protecting cover for your scale as well. And then the other tray operates as a case for the whole thing. And then you just take this and slip this into a cover, put it somewhere. Um, as you can see, it is pretty small and narrow. It's a tiny little thing and easy to store away. It's also lightweight. So this is convenient to have. I like to have different devices like this in my kitchen, but I don't have that much cabinet space. So for me, in order to buy something, I have to think, oh, where am I going to store this in my kitchen? It's always a sacrifice of some kind of space. And this doesn't take up too much space. So um, whether you're leaving it, sitting it out on your counter, it doesn't take up a bunch of counter space. Or whether you're putting it away after every use, it is small and compact and simple and easy to use. But has some nice functions to make this pretty functional for you, whether you're using it in the kitchen or to weigh medication or different things. You could use this for a bunch of different functions. Um, but this is a great one for me to have in my kitchen for my easy use while cooking. So that's been your closer look.